Hello guys, welcome back to another PUBG update video for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. The latest patch for the game is on the live servers now, or it will be soon if maintenance hasn't completed yet, and I'm going over the full patch notes. Guys, at this point I usually ask for a like, however, really in 2019, the best possible way you can help out is to simply watch the video for as long as possible. It's one of the biggest things YouTube uses to decide if videos should be recommended to other people. So if this video is helpful, please watch for as long as you can. And I will appreciate that if you do. All right, guys, let's jump straight into the patch notes, beginning with cross-platform play. Players can now be matched with other players from other console platforms with crossplay. Now, it doesn't have all of its features yet. One of the major things that's missing is a party up system. So you can party up with other players like say you could on Modern Warfare, which has its new crossplay system, which is a lot further along. But the cross party features are being worked on by the devs and their details will be shared at a later time. If you don't want to play with cross-platform, then you can turn that on and off in the settings. However, if you are searching for a match and you can't seem to find one, after a certain amount of time, the game will recommend that you turn on cross-play in order to help you with matchmaking times. Some of the features of cross-play then, players playing on the same platform will show the platform logo in front of their ID, and players will be able to identify other platforms when using messages or spectating and so on. There will also be a cross-platform leaderboard, so the leaderboard will show differently depending on the status of the cross-platform play option. When the cross-platform play option is on, leaderboards will show both console platform players. And of course, if you have cross-play off, then it will show only your system. So cross-play is heading to the live servers today, and hopefully it improves your matchmaking times, especially on some of the lesser played modes like first-person perspective solos, for example. Although I still have a feeling that there's going to be issues with matchmaking, even with crossplay enabled. Next up, the survival title system Season 4 has arrived with new season rewards. This is a new companion system to the weapon mastery system, which allows players to progress their skills in gunplay. We will also introduce new ways for players to express their personalities on the battleground with new rewards and a PUBG ID system. The Survivor Mastery is a new progression system where players increase levels by gaining XP based on the player's survival patterns and the system operates all the time without being affected by seasons. The level cap for Survival Mastery is 500. If you want to earn XP when you are leveling up, then you can get it in the following situations. Whenever you loot, using items during combat, whenever you do anything in combat other than using items, and reviving teammates. If you want to check your survival actions performed in previous matches, then you can check that in the Mastery in the Last Match tab and it will show you your landing point, location where players perform certain actions, damage dealt and received, distance a player traveled using vehicles, and surviving blue zone phases. You can also check your recent survival playstyle from the analysis of all player data, and it includes the following information for you to look at. Average engagement length, average engagement distance, items looted per game, distance travel per game, hot drop rate, and damage taken per game. The three most prominent of these traits will be displayed for you, and it will help to show how conservative, cautious, or decisive of gameplay that you have. Next, a new PUBG ID system. A new reward system where players can show their progression and express themselves. It includes survivor mastery level, player ID, emblems, backgrounds, and a new pose, and players can see the entire information or recap. Players can view and change from the mastery under the survival tab. If you want to see other player IDs, then you can do that as well, but only if you are teammates from a previous match, or if it's the previous player that you killed, or the previous player who killed you. For emblems, you get one for every 10 levels, starting from level 5, and players are rewarded with an emblem. Backgrounds are rewarded every 10 levels as well, starting from level 10, and player poses are rewarded for every 100 levels, starting from level 100. And every level that doesn't have a specific reward will grant you BP. So that's everything you need to know about the new survival mastery system. Next up, there is a new weapon, the DBS shotgun. The DBS is a double barrel pump action bulb up shotgun that can only be initially obtained from care packages. It has two internal magazine tubes that allow users to load up to 14 12 gauge rounds, and thanks to the combined firing mechanics, the DBS can produce massive bursts of damage in a short span of time. 
The upper rail of the gun allows a holographic red dot sight for up to a 6x scope and its maximum effectiveness range to deal damage with a DPS is up to 100 meters. So if you're looking for a new extremely powerful shotgun then the DPS is exactly that but it is limited to care packages. Next the survival pass aftermath. The current season of both the Survivor Pass and Survival Title System will end on October the 22nd. And starting on October 8th, two weeks before the period of Aftermath, then there will be an on-screen message and a countdown on the Survival Pass banner in the lobby notifying you of its end. Premium Pass and Level Up can be purchased until the Pass period ends. Okay, so let's move on to some gameplay changes. And nearly all of these, to begin with, are related to weapons and more specifically shotguns. So they've improved shotgun consistency. Hit probability has increased, especially in medium shotgun range. Damage drop off over distance has increased. Minimum per pellet damage within effective range of each shotgun has increased to 4, except for the sawed off, which is 3. And all shotguns fire 9 pellets total per round. Adjusted the shotgun balance and all shotgun pellets now use more realistic ballistic curves where speed decreases over time. All shotguns had their recoil effects updated and damage multipliers have changed for the weapons. So headshot from 1.5 to 1.2 and torsos multipliers have reduced from 1.0 to 0 0.9 and that is for shotguns only. Some specific weapon changes, the S686 has its maximum effective range set to 80 meters now, and it's increased its reload speed by 20%, and the same for the S1897. The Sawed Off Shotgun has had its maximum effective range set to 80 meters as well, but its maximum increased probability range is set to 50 meters. Its increased number of pellets fired to nine, but it's decreased its damage per pellet from 22 to 20. The duckbill attachment has had its pellet spread multiplier increased from 0.8 to 1. Weapon impact effects have been updated. Both decals and particle effects are now more directional, allowing players to better understand the direction shots are coming from. Size and characteristics of the effects depend on both the surface being hit and the class of weapon being fired. Healing items can now be activated while moving and your player will reduce the walking speed and continue using the item while you're moving at walking pace. Previously, you could only move at walking pace while healing, although you had to come to a complete stop in order to start the action, but that's been changed now to improve quality of life in game. Finally, Canted Sight Reticle type now has been adjusted, along with brightness similar to the red dot. The featured map has been changed from Eren Galf to Sandhawk, and the game mode select user interface has changed as well. It's not really the system that most people want, but it is the way it is on PC, and that's the system that we have. To custom matches on Xbox, they've added Erangel visual update options to the custom matches. A change to vehicle auto acceleration key binding. So vehicle auto acceleration key binding will change from double tap to holding RT and tapping the R stick or holding R2 on the PS4 and tapping the R3 stick. And that's due to a community request for improvements to vehicle auto acceleration. The main lobby screen will change similar to PC now. Tap LB or RB or L3 or R3 to move around the menu tab. LT or RT or L2 or R2 to move around the lower tabs. User interface and customized menu has been changed to be more console friendly as well. Store and my items has been merged into a utility tab. And they've added news and events banner where players can find news about PUBG while in the lobby. Settings, controller guide and restart lobby have been merged under system menu. Health bars will now show in the game lobby on first person perspective modes. New items have been added to the shop, the Wat Goods crate, Pirate Kim's crate, new Halloween items, authentic Eastern items and four types of Madzy shoes. To performance, they've made visual improvements to shadows and enhanced rendering performance, fixed an issue where the monitor would flicker to become bloody in certain situations. Deploy tentative changes mitigating an issue which caused loot to appear late, mainly after landing from your parachute. To sound, they've made quite a lot of changes because they are implementing their sound improvement plan, so expect quite a few sound changes in the coming updates. For this update, footstep sound volume and attenuation have been rebalanced. Footstep sounds will be more drastically reduced when players move to the outer limit of footsteps audible range. Sound has been changed appropriately when getting into shallow water like puddles added a new song to the jukebox, and new songs will replace the existing songs. 
Different sound effects are played when landing from falling, dependent on the surface material type. Reduce the volume of straw mats being destroyed. Made improvements to the ledge grab sound effect and reduce the volume of the red zone. Guys, that is about it for the complete list of patch notes for the new update, which is out right now. Let me know in the comments what you think of all of these changes, especially crossplay because it's a new feature and I want to know if it has improved your matchmaking time significantly or whether it's just a small change. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see the latest PUBG updates as they happen. Guys, enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.